and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to customize my computer. I got requested before, so I'm going to do it now. Programs you need, ring meter, x widget, either one of them is fine. You can choose one. I'm going to use ring meter. Fences, rocket dock, object dock, you can choose one of them, but I suggest rocket dock. ORB changer, the slot tool icon, icons for your dock, the wallpaper, good cursor, click star, and ring meter or x widget skins. And you can find them at deviantart.com. Sometimes people say they can't find them or something, so I'm also going to make this path for you guys. It's still empty, so I'm just going to do it while recording this video. So I can do it on purpose. My computer is kind of badly customized, so yeah. So let me unload all my skins first. I think I'm just going to keep that there. First, you're going to have to look for a good wallpaper first, okay? So we can look for a good wallpaper first. So usually you just look for one. Then I just right-click and press set as that's the scott background and I just use it and I'll see if I like it. And this looks kind of nice, even without the skins. Then after you find a good wallpaper that you like, you can look for a good cursor. See, I'm using no cursor, so you go to cursor. And you go to control panel and then you would type in the search mouse. And then you just press this and you go here pointers and I already choose oxy blanco so yeah I have a lot of oxys and stuff so just press ok like if you don't have a cursor I will leave you some cursors in this pack you can download in the description and you change it go to the mouse thing and then you just change them one by one like the normal then you browse and look for the normal select cursor like here or whatever then after that press you do it to all of them press save as and press ok or sometimes your cursor already has the installer so you don't really have to worry you just right click and install um then after you find good cursor and a good wallpaper um click star is optional the stop toy icon is also optional icons for your dock well i think it's not optional so ray meter or x widget skins like if you don't have ray meter skins or whatever um like go to deviantart.com and you would just sorry my computer's kind of messed up um oh right i forgot to put theme optional oops so i only have one theme so yeah i have a lot of messages here but yeah i never opened it so let's just say x widget skins you need x widget skins you just type there and you're gonna find thousands of results and they're really cute sometimes you know, like, x is really cute, it's just my x broke. So I can't really use it. Oh, the skins look so nice. Or you can just type x widget clock. Then you can just see all the results, la la la. Oops, I don't think so. But you know what I mean. But if you can't find any good ones, I'll leave you some x skins over here. And then if you want rain meter skins, just type rain meter clock or something. And you're going to find a lot of results, like these, oh well, that looks nice. <laughs> and, yeah, you can just download them. You open them, like you open the link. And you can just scroll down and look for nice ones. And then after you find nice ones, then you just go here, then you press download. Wait, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I'll just look. But usually it's here, and you just press download, stuff like that. This one, I think you need to read these first. I mean, I'm not going to read them. And download them later. After you like download skins, it's usually in your downloads folder. So you just like go to downloads and see your skins. After that, you copy the skins folder. Then you go to in here, and then you go to skins and you paste all your skins here. And after that, well, I go here and I see this, so I just right click and I press um, manage skins manage. And then something's gonna pop up. Then I'm usually I just pick random clocks. I have a lot of clocks. It's just I don't really use them properly, so I'm not sure. But see, this is kind of too big for my screen. My screen is super small. That's why. Then after you pick random skins, whatever. Okay, let me pick mine. So um, I just added some skins. This really awkward music player. This clock. This ram thing. This. Bandage. <laughs> this Mickey and this thing. <laughs> so I'll leave you some skins for you guys. Some Rainy or next Exodus skins. And if you want to use extra skins, all you have to do is double click on the skin, okay? So after you use the skins and everything, um, well, it's kind of done, you know. 
So I forgot fences. This is really cute. And there's fences. This is where you, how, you, how I put all my icons organized. And yeah, it makes my icons organized and really nice. And then you can like download it. And now it's not really free. So you can download it. 30 days trial. Or you can buy it. Or you can download the free full version if there is maybe. So all you have to do is just. You have two mouse clicks, right? Left and right. Use the right one. And you just drag how big you want it to be. Then there's this. You press create new fence here. Then you just name it. Just name it randomly. So, this can't really see it because mine's transparent. But if I put it here, see it's like moved around. Then you put it not transparent, but it looks ugly to me. So, when you download fences, you just right click on your desktop and press configure fences. Then you're going to see something popping up or something. I'm just, just going to wait. So, it makes your desktop look cute and very organized. Um, and then you just wait for this. So usually when you go here, you can choose the layout. I suggest you choose layout. You can make your own. Appearance. Okay, I put transparency like, well, that's not nice, but yeah, whatever. So it's like this. And you can resize it. Like how small you want it to be. How big, how long. Uh, you can choose the color. And then you can choose how, how you want it to look like. I suggest like this. But, well, it's not really, it's kind of cute too. Yeah, just like that. I'm going to put it transparent because it will match with anything then. Then, um, but yeah, whatever. And then you get the tools, then you can do this if you want. And you can use these if you're new. And yeah, I use version 1.0, 1.1.3. version 2, I don't like version 2, but yeah, whatever. Then you can, you can delete the, f you can delete the, um, you can delete the fences. And you just put some fence. And then it just goes away. Your folder will stay the same. So then I will leave you all these stuff in this folder. After fences, and I think this video is going to take like 15 minutes, um, you can download Rocket Dock or Object Dock. But I suggest Rocket Dock, it's kind of much better. It's like this. It's like a dock, and it's really cute. So just download it, and you can change your icons by right clicking icon settings, delete item, add items, file, dock settings, screen position. Go dock settings, and you can change your icons or whatever. And you can choose how, what's the opacity, what's the size, what's the effect, um, the general language, English when it start up, um, screen position, centering, edge offset. You know, it's pretty cute. Then, yeah, style. You can choose how you want it to look like. Like, let's change. So I think I like this one. And then after that, you can choose the um the font and then shadow color, your behavior or whatever. Um, then you can read the about update or whatever. Just press OK. After you pick the the icons and everything, I'll leave you guys some icons for you guys too. How long has this been? Well, ten minutes. Okay. And then well, I already I'll leave you guys in the folder where you can make these stuff. So ORB changer, the stop tour icon, and click stop. I did a video on how you change your ORB, this one, before. So I'm just going to leave you in the link. I mean, in the description below, where to download. And I hope you'll read the description. And click start. I did um, a tutorial, I mean, a tutorial of it. And I gave you the skins for it before. So I'll leave you the link in the description too. The stop tour icon, I don't like it because it makes your computer lagging. But I'll leave you in the description below and I'll do a tutorial on, on how to use it. So yeah. Um, the theme. It's completely optional so you just right click and press personalize and it's gonna pop up or whatever. And then I would just like, you can go here. I only have one theme and I don't really like to use themes. Sometimes I just like mine transparent but I think I'm gonna use themes again. Okay, I started using the theme again and suddenly everything went all weird and then on my customization went away so yeah i would just suggest starting to use the theme first what happened oh my gosh like wait 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 like i said using themes are complicated and after you like change your themes i'll do a tutorial on how to change your themes more specifically and you can change your sound quick sounds i'll leave it in the description below and then you can add screensaver um i, I like using the bubbles because they're pretty cute and then after that I go to Windows Color, and I just like Advanced Appearance Settings, and I like to change my uh, my computer's fonts because I don't like computer's fonts. 
so I just change it to IR IR Garde. So yeah. I just change it to all of them. Like this. Then I choose the size. Okay, let me change them first. Okay. I'll leave you guys the description to my to my tutorial on how you can change your computer font. And uh, um yeah, it's in the description. And uh, you can change your hyperlink color or selected items. So hyperlink go here. I already have mine, it's really light light purple. And then I'll accept it. I don't know dirty pick for me, but yeah, I don't mind. But it's just okay. So usually things are nice, but sometimes they're dangerous because they can break your, um, your computer. That's why I don't really like using themes. But this theme is safe. I'll leave you in the description. I mean, I'll leave you in the pack where's that theme. And then I'll like to change the color. But this color seems really nice, actually. But yeah, let me change it to pink. No purple-ish. I don't know. I don't really want any. Let me just change it to that. And then after that, well, I'm kind of done. You don't really need to change anything else. Just press OK. And you're going to wait. Where is this? Please wait. Then you can see your hyperlink colors like that. See, it's nice, right? After you change it, well, you're pretty much done, you know. Nothing too hard. But yeah, be careful when you use themes. You don't want to use the wrong one in your, your, um, your computer goes wacko or something. <laughs> and after you choose your themes and everything, you're done. You customize your computer using skins and everything like that. So yeah, it's kind of really cute for you guys. And, um, yeah, you kind of can change your font or whatever. So yeah, I hope this tutorial helps. And it's like 15 minutes. 15 minutes. And thanks for watching. I hope you guys would subscribe. I'm making a 200 watch, I mean 200 subscribers pack soon. I freaked out when I saw it. <laughs> so I'm sorry if I'm going to make it late because I've been kind of busy. But yeah, thanks for watching you guys. Like, it means so much for you guys for subscribing. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for watching too. And all these materials will be in the description. So yeah, go and download. Thanks for watching. Bye.